Hey everybody, it is Stork from Stork Plays Games and I'm on my way to the pet store. No, I'm not gonna do demos at the pet store. I gotta get dog food first. Then I'm going to Saltier Games. I'm gonna do a demo of, whoa, this trash can is out in the middle of the road. I'm gonna do a demo of uh, Whistle Stop. And after that, I'm going to learn some Pegasus Spiel games for Gen Con. So, we are going to um, play, I know, the Dwarves, and then there's a few other games um, that we're going to take a look at. I learned one the other night when I was out there. I don't remember the name of it. It's a quick, fun, and easy card game where you put down planes and try to complete routes. Um, it was really fun. Fun game. You can steal, steal from other people or play your stuff on other people. Um, I don't remember the name of that one, but... If you are at Gen Con, stop by the Pegasus Spiel booth and check those out because there's some good games there. Um, also got another shipment in today of a game that I will be showing at Gen Con. So, I'm dropping you guys some hints. I'm going to be all over the place at Gen Con. You're going to have to track me down. So, I've got several different companies that I'm helping out. I've got several different events that I'm helping out at. So... Look for me and see if you can find me. Uh, if you do find me, stop and demo the game that I'm demoing, or just say hi. Give me a shout out, do something. So anyways, um, I don't expect a whole lot of people tonight for Whistle Stop, just because it is um, sort of a last minute thing. I haven't had this one planned for very long. Um, and it's on a Thursday, normally I demo them on a Wednesday. Sometimes I jump around in the week, but I've been trying to do Wednesday to keep things consistent. So, anyways, uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I don't expect a big crowd, but I will have the game set up and ready to go. So if I can get anybody to try it out, um, if nothing else, you know, just talk about the game and tell them about the game. Plus, again, the upcoming expansion of uh, Rocky Mountains. So check that one out. Um, and those are all from Bezier Games. So, I'm going to wrap this up here. I will see you guys on the other side. I'll try, try to remember all the games that I uh, learned. And I'll tell you how it went with Whistle Stop. So, see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, I just finished up my demo for Whistle Stop. And spent a little bit of time learning some new games so I'll tell you about whistle stop um didn't have any plays tonight but i did have um a person a lot of people that were in there had already played my demo of it believe it or not so because this was my fifth i believe i've done um but there was a new gentleman in there it was his first time in the store and he was interested in it, so I sat down and taught him how to play it and talked about the game and stuff. We didn't do a playthrough, but I showed him. He said he didn't have time to sit and do a playthrough. So, taught him the game. He said it sounded great. He was very interested in the game. So, you know, there's that, I guess. I, I like it more when we can get a play in, but if I can't get a play in, I'd rather kind of show it to somebody and teach them about it. So, that was Whistle Stop. Uh, from Pegasus Spiel, we learned a few games. Uh, Dwarves, which I already knew. It's a great game. I've talked about it on here before. So, um, definitely suggest Dwarves. You can only get it at Saltier, and, or you can only get it at uh, Gen Con in the States. So, if you're at Gen Con, stop by the uh, Pegasus Spiel booth, check out Dwarves, and uh, pick that one up. I definitely recommend it. It's a cooperative team game. Um, sort of pandemic-esque but harder <laughs> i think um and then a new one coming out Ax axiom axion i don't remember what the name of it was it's an abstract kind of game where you're laying these tiles and counting points sort of like quirkle has shapes like quirkle um i really liked it it's a it's a super simple game but there was a ton of strategy to it. And you can actually box places off and put up little pyramids um, for points. It's 
very interesting. Uh, quick and easy. It, it looked really good though. And then there was another one, Dragon something for Pegasus Spiel. I did not play it. I saw it. Uh, it's a two-player game. It looked all right. It's sort of on the same lines of Wonderland, the Renegade game where you're uh, playing a grid. Except for instead of having cards at the top that you're competing for, you automatically know one person's going horizontal, one person's going vertical, and you're laying down these dragon cards that are zeros, ones, twos, and threes, and trying to get points in these rows. The trick is you're trying to get I don't the highest of your lowest score. So it is a, a little bit twist on that. So your high score isn't going to win. Your lowest of your highest is going to win. So anyways, uh, it was pretty busy up there. Or pretty, We were pretty busy. They were learning a million things for Gen Con, getting people set up and, and learning the game. So it's getting close. It's getting that time of year. And that, oh, I forgot to say, I picked up Remnants from Fireside Games that came out yesterday. I had it ordered, I picked it up. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play that game. I'm going to do an unboxing video on it tonight because I can't wait to tear it open. Um, we may play it tonight, we're, we'll see. If I can get a couple guys over that we're talking about and wanting to play it. So, Remnants, I did put a, a how-to video of Remnants, but it wasn't mine, it was from Fireside Games, but I linked it in my how-to videos because their video was great. So, instead of just doing how-to videos for games that are already out there. Um, when I run across a how-to video that's really good, I'm just gonna link it in my how-to video so you guys can see that. I, I did Dinosaur Island for Watch It Played. Uh, he did a great job explaining Dinosaur Island. I did a bunch of them for Fireside. They do a phenomenal job explaining their games. So if there's some out there that I feel like uh, maybe missed a rule or um, a lot of times I think that the how-to videos kind of go over a high-level overview. But you guys are gamers. You get that. You get the high-level rules. That's not the problem. The problem is those twists or one-offs or things like that. So I do my best to try to um, explain that and get the get those ones so if I do a video that there's something already out there other than the ones I've already done I was just trying to do is trying to do videos and teach games um, but if I can do a video if I do a video it's probably because I'm not a hundred percent satisfied with the ones that I've run across so anyways that's why there's videos of other people teaching stuff in my videos in my playlists so just want to give a little explanation on that I'll give more explanations on other videos because I know everybody's not going to watch this one video. So, sorry for the repetitiveness, redundancies, whatever you want to call it. Um, I should have a few Kickstarters showing up. I think I already said I got Pioneer Days in today, so I'll be doing an unboxing video on that one as well. So, lots going on. Busy time around Gen Con. So, look forward to seeing you guys at Gen Con. Like I said, find me, stop me, say hi. And I will talk to you later. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Stork Plays Games. And I will see you next time.